Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. We got one for the beginners today. Today we're going to talk about customizing the Quick Access Toolbar, or sometimes I call it the Quick Launch Toolbar. I think that's what it used to be called. For a single database in Microsoft Access. Today's question comes from Heather in Levittown, Pennsylvania, one of my Platinum members. Heather says, how can I customize the Quick Access Toolbar for just one database, I've got buttons that run macros to open forms like you demonstrated in your QAT video, but each of my databases requires different buttons. Okay, so there's two things you can do. You can have buttons for access as a whole on your system, so every database you use, or you can set up buttons for each individual database. Let me show you how. First of all, if you have not yet watched the video that Heather's talking about, go watch this first. I show you how to set up the quick access toolbar, what it is, how to create a macro that will run a form that'll open a form for you, which I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over quickly again today, but watch this video first. Okay, here I am in my tech help free template. This is a free database. You can download off my website if you want to. Now you can see here, I've already customized the quick access toolbar and you can see I've got things on here like save, undo and redo, design view, run a query, uh, what is that, data sheet view, form view, okay, um, format painter I use a lot, I've got a printer button for print preview, and then I've got buttons to open the visual basic editor, and this one will open up the code for the form that you happen to be on. Now, next to that, I got this guy, which is customized for my database. I click on this, if this guy is closed, I click on this, and it opens the main menu. All it is is a macro right here. It's called open main menu. And then on the quick access toolbar, you can make it run macros, which open forms, which is pretty much, there are very few ways I actually use macros. And that's one of them. The other one's the auto exec macro, which is I got a whole different video on that one. All right. Anyways, let's say you've got a special form. Let's pretend it's the customer form. Okay. And th this is actually true for me. For most of my databases, I'll have a main menu form. It's always named main menu F. So I'll just copy that and the open main menu macro into that database. And I can just keep this button here for probably 99% of the databases that I build. All right. But they don't always have a customer form. So let's make a macro real quick that uh, opens up that customer form. And I'll just copy this one. If you want the step-by-step, -step, watch the other video. I already did it. So copy, paste, this will be open customer F. Okay, and we'll just modify this guy, right click, design, and we'll just change the form name, I can close this thing. Change the form name here to customer F. No, nope, not customer contact F, where are you? Customer F, that guy. All right, save it, close it, and now if I run this, it opens up the customer form. Okay, great. Now, I wanna put that up here, on the quick launch toolbar, the quick access toolbar, same thing. All right, so we're going to drop this down, go to more commands. All right, here we are. Also, I forgot to mention in the other video, there's a separator too. I like to put a separator at the end of the all documents one. Right up here, there's all documents. And if you drop this down, you'll see there's for your database right there. That's the trick. So I was going to show you in today's video. You click on that and you can see there are no custom buttons just for this database. Let's go back to the other one for a minute. See this thing here? It's a separator. You can find that right there. You can add a separator. So I just added two of them. I got two separators up there. We don't need two of them. We'll remove that one. But this will tell you where the end of the all of access buttons are. Okay. So let's go back up here. Click on this guy for this database, right? And now it's blank. Now you just add whatever buttons you want to have only in this database. Okay, so uh, let's just go up here. I'll go to macros. I'll go open customer F. Click on that. Let's modify it. I'll make it a, let's go, where's the smiley face? guy? There's my customer. And you can put whatever you want in here in the display name. All right, open customers. Whatever you want to call it. Hit okay. Hit okay. And there you go. Now you get a little happy smiley face. Anywhere you are in your database, you just click on that. Boom, there's your customers. And you can do any number of buttons over here that you want to. If you notice, in this title slide here, I added this guy. I didn't put the separator in here, but I put this guy in there, and it's this database only. It's the caption. That's the same thing I just did with the open customers, right? And that's it. 
that's that's how you put buttons up here just for this database. Now, if you open up another database, let me close this one. Let me make an, a, another copy of my original database. This is a copy of a copy. So this is a new copy of the database, and you can see it's not up there. It's only in this database now. Okay, there he is. Well, happy smiley face guy. That's it. If you like learning with me, make sure you check out my four hour long Access Beginner One class. I know it's it's four hours, but it's it goes by quick. I, I, I like to have fun when I teach, so you'll, you'll, you'll have a good time. I also have a shorter version, which is only 30 minutes. I put this one together for all the people that are like, I don't want to waste four hours learning all the beginner stuff. Well, I distilled it down and went through it quickly and watch this video if, you've, if, you're, if you're short on time. But that's going to do it. That's your tech help video for today, folks. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. A special thank you and shout out to our Diamond sponsors. First, we have Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions, manufacturing experts specializing in Access and SQL Server. Juan is a 13-time Microsoft Access MVP. You can check them out at accessexperts.com. Another shout out to Sammy Shama from Shama Consultancy. Sammy is a certified Microsoft Office specialist, and he not only offers Access application development, but he also provides one-on-one -on -one tutoring services. So if you need someone to hold your hand and help you with your Access project, Sammy is your guy. Check him out at shamaconsultancy.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming as long as you keep watching them I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You could find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing free four hours go watch it and okay okay a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course so I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes and no I didn't just put the video on fast forward <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well now if you like level one level two is just a dollar that's it one dollar and that's another whole like 90 minute course Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two. It's free. Okay. Want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered.
And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.